Hello students, welcome. Today we are going to study about the basic paragraph writing. This is the lecture for class 4. Let's start the what is the basic paragraph writing and how to write the basic paragraph. At least 5 sentences you will be able to write after this lecture. So then let's start from the margin line. The margin line we have over here, we are basically uh, discuss over here two types of paragraph writing. First of all, we use block. These are called the block. There is no space between the margin line and this is called block star. Second we have, for example, this is the margin line. And we are leaving the space of two to three fingers and then we are starting our paragraph writing. So what is this space called? This is called indent. The space which we are leaving after the margin line, three to four lines, this space is called indent. Now let's start that how to write the basic paragraph. So I am giving you a technique to write down the basic paragraph and this way you will be able to write the basic paragraph at least 4 to 5 lines. So guys what you have to do? You are going towards the block side or you are going, to, going towards the indent side, it's up to you. But what you have to follow, the first thing you have to follow is the connectivity. What is connectivity? Let me give you an example. Ali is a shopkeeper Ali love to eat biryani third sentence is Ali is a hard working person and the fourth sentence is Ali closes his shop at 8. So guys, let's see the which sentence is not related with the paragraph or the sentence I have written over here. So let's see that which sentence is not connected or irrelevant in these four sentences. First one is Ali is a shopkeeper. Ali loves to eat biryani. Ali is a hard working person. And the fourth sentence is Ali closes his shop at 8. Okay guys, let's see. In these four sentences, can you guess that which sentence is not related with 3? Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let me tell you. Sentence number 2 is not related with these 3 sentences. For example, Ali is a shopkeeper. Ali is a hard working person. Ali closes his shop. Well, biryani is not related with these 3 sentences. So there must be the connectivity between the sentences. For example, Pakistan is a Muslim country. In the first sentence I have mentioned that Pakistan is a Muslim country or Pakistan is an Islamic state. Then in the second sentence, I have to mention the same condition. The sentence must be connected with the sentence. For example, Pakistan is a Muslim country or Pakistan is an Islamic state. So what I have to see? I have to connect my second sentence with these first sentence. How? Let's see. Pakistan is an Islamic state. In the first sentence, as I have mentioned that Pakistan is an Islamic state, in the second sentence, I have to write down Pakistan or it is 
और वॉज इट वॉज डिक्लेयर्ड एज एन इस्लामिक स्टेट इन वट एवर द एयर और वट एवर द हिस्ट्री टाइल्स यू बट वट इज द थिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैोल्ड यू दैट पाकिस्तान इज एन इस्लामिक स्टेट Then I have to mention over here that it was declared an Islamic state in the year 1917 or whatever. Same as I have a, I, I have made another mistake over here. What is the mistake? I have written use the noun and again and again. But whenever you are using first noun, then do not use noun again. Always use pronoun. Ali is a shopkeeper. so in the second sentence it must be he loves to eat he is hard working person he closes his shop at 8 so guys this is called the connectivity for example i am giving you a second example ali is my best friend ali is my best friend so now don't talk about the cricket over here that ali is my best friend and i love to play cricket no ali is my best friend he is an intelligent person he is an intelligent person who is intelligent person the same about whom i am talking about in the first sentence so there is connectivity between the sentences second thing when you are writing about the basic paragraph just first of all what you have to do write down five to six lines there must be connectivity just try to write write down make the connectivity between these sentences and after writing check out that what is the physical structure of the sentence for example check out the whether you have made the mistake ali is my best friend or ali was my best friend if you are talking about your friend in the past so you can write down ali was my best friend and in the second sentence you should also mention that ali was an intelligent person in the second sentence you have to mention it so you have to take care about the tenses also so in the basic paragraph you just have to learn that what is the connectivity how to connect the sentences so guys in this lecture you will learn about that what is the basic activity or what is the basic paragraph writing by the help of these paragraph writing write down or try to write down five to six and then you will be able to write down more and more since so this is basically the first step towards the paragraph writing so if you want to ask any question you can thank you very much